man that is such a good team comp against Durgot though my goodness even my lane is hard too I faced one Alawi since they buffed her up pretty good and this matchup feels way harder now matchup has always felt hard to be honest but it feels quite a bit harder now tentacles just have massive range I'm honestly gonna try to ignore her ignore her and just kind of play for the cheater recall I want to go cheater into callback and then just rush Swifties as soon as possible Just play for the dodges and play to sustain. Just slowly outscale her. So once this next wave comes in, I'm just going to nuke it. No tabbies for that team. Uh, I mean, tabbies are good, but I think I need Swifties for the matchup. Also, I should be nuking this wave. Hopefully, I'm not too slow on it. Nice, that's good. Oh my gosh, that's tentacle range. Man, are they actually gonna gank? It's hard to it's kinda hard to get Cheetah versus Alawi. But it's especially hard because I have to listen to my teammate teammates' pings here. I don't know if they're correct, but I kinda have to listen to it. Because there's a good chance they could be. I should get rid of some of these tentacles. On the way, team. I think they got him, though. Let's not waste our time here. Need to get this wave crashed in. That's fine. I killed her tentacle. I can fight back on this a little bit. Oh, this will be good. That tower range felt really far, though. Is that just me, or that tower range feels really far? Oh my god, nice. Thank you, dude. God bless. I have to play around the tentacles. They still slap even if she dies. I do want to kind of try to push in this wave, but I'm scared. Oh my gosh, that range. She's pulling the wave over, dang it. I could just go into Swifties here. I could also go into this thing. You know what? I'm going to try this out. Do I TP? I probably should. Wave's not too good. Yeah, I'm going to try this Rectrix because it gives me 20 damage and I still get a little bit of movement speed. Okay, this is good. Belveth just like even hovering allows me to push in. Actually helps out a lot even if she doesn't commit to the gank. Just gonna instantly get out of that, especially with it being under tower. Try to run in a straight line whenever the tentacles slap. You don't want to, like, wiggle back and forth. If you run in a straight line, you'll never get hit. I was trying to bait out her E, like, walking slightly outside the wave. This guy's pretty reserved with E. I feel like he's probably maxing Q in that case.
She's still gonna win that with these tentacles. So close on the E there. Dang, I was hoping we'd get the ocean. That'd be so nice in this land, especially without a call. All right, I'm out of here. I thought maybe she was going to try to chase me there. Dude, she's going to nuke the wave, though. I don't know. Can I afford to lose this wave? I think I just have to. Man, I don't think I can. I'm already down a little bit of XP. This is where it gets so hard for Salawi. This is why I like Call. Well, too slow on that, sadly. Oh my gosh, man. Around the minion. Alright, we got it back here. This is too much, man. Better not die to a tentacle slap. Yeah, not gonna lie, guys. I... I think they overbuffed Alawi a little bit. But then again, this lane has always been hard, so I don't know. Let's just go Swifties now. Try to dodge ease. They should honestly be a lot more playable with Swifties now. They welcome in Menace. Hello, Expelled. To see Alawi and Aram, it's insane. Oh, I bet, man. Yeah, I wonder, did they like. Because I know certain things are nerfed in Aram. Did they not even nerf her more? They probably will eventually if they haven't, I guess. Like, I know Urgot, for example, is nerfed down pretty good. He's still honestly good too, but a lot of top laners are nerfed in ARAM. Alright, jungle's top side. Support is top side. Supports roam so much now, dude. It's fine, I got Swifties. You can Eba for the root too against Karma. Actually, yeah, good call. Let's go help with Grubs here. This might be a six Grubs. They're probably going to contest. Wait, he used his dash. Oh, no, I'm in a terrible spot. My team didn't want to go for the grave skill. I guess they wanted to just rush the Grubs. Ooh, nice. Okay. We get five, they get one. So now we get the little spawn. That's actually going to help a lot. I, I think I will go more kind of heavy on the split this game then. Ah, oh, dang. That's a lot of guild for Smolder. At least I catch this wave. Hopefully they don't try to, like, dive me here. This feels kind of sketchy. Maybe I should have eat. I was kind of afraid she was baiting for Smolder. 
I, I, I think that guy was recalling in the bush. I probably could have gone for it, though, in hindsight. Is she back in for Iceborne? This I the Iceborne rush is so good, by the way, still on Alawi. I thought it was like really nerfed. I don't know if they also buffed that. But the last one I played against went Iceborne and it did not feel bad at all. Okay, she TP'd on bot lane. And we got five grubs. This feels like a mistake by her. Whenever you're clearing the wave with grubs, just try to get an auto in so you get that burn. So you're not like losing time with the burn. I could get roamed on here, but we got Swifties plus Fleet. Should be able to run if I need to. Look at that burn damage, man. And she got nothing on that port. Oh, she got Iceborne now. The Swifties also help her to Iceborne slow, at least. Oh, that's not good. That might be death. Yeah, I can't run from Iceborne. The thing is, like, she has really good base damage. I have to go hole breaker here. Dang, I was gonna try to just the, the reason I was like so far up in that lane is because I was gonna try to perma push and just get hole breaker and then TP back. We should be able to kill her here though. No ulti. She's very tanky though. Nice, I got the kill. That's gonna help a lot. Shelly in 20. Getting every single plate on Urgot's huge. These void grubs are a clutch, man. Oh, he's recalling. I guess I could just recall here. This is fun. It's a pretty good buy. Oh, I thought she was going to face check. That scared me. Nice. We got a good jungle, dude. White Holebreaker first instead of Black Cleaver. Because uh, this item is just broken right now with Urgot W. But they're going to change it next patch. It's going to work as on hit. Which, uh, it's still going to be good. I, I think Cleaver first might be a little better next patch, though. I think definitely if the person goes armor, Cleaver will be better first. But right now, Hullbreaker is just so good. This is really sketchy. They're waiting for me to push up. Okay, Karma's mid. Jungle could be topside. That's about it right now. As long as I don't get ulted. I'm like playing on the edge in case she ulties. I might just want to wait until Cleaver though. Okay, never mind. Wow. Yeah, dude, even Hullbreaker, like, this thing does really good damage still. Even if they have armor. Next patch, it's going to be a little bit different because you're going to have to try to get your auto attack to be the Hullbreaker proc, which is going to be kind of weird. It's going to be easy on towers. 
Gonna give Yalcia the ulti here. Pretty chunked out, so I gotta be really careful. I do have flash, though. This Alawi wants me, man. Let's get away from these tentacles. Oh my god, I think I'm literally 1 HP. They don't have any global ultis, do they? This Karma's running, dude. She's chasing. I got Swifties though, I should be okay. Alright, nice dude. Our Yasu and Yoni are so fed now. But Yoni's probably gonna die. 7 and 3 Zeri with a massive shutdown. That's actually kind of scary. Yeah, Hullbreaker first just feels so good. I think even next patch it'll still feel good. But with Cleaver getting buffed, I I probably will swap over. It's hard to say. I'll have to test it. I think when the patch first hits, I'm still going to do some Hullbreaker just to see. Mm, good try. Somehow Zeri got it. Got the fear. Very nice. I'm honestly good with that. I, I kind of need to go top lane here, guys. Okay, Yoni can go top, I guess. I was going to TP up there. In that case, I'll just go bot. We have red buff healing. the build looking like for next batch uh i mean a good general build i don't think it'll really change something like this will still be good maybe cleaver first like cleaver hull Starak, jack show last item is always like really situational looks like it's just him good You can kind of tell if he has backup, if he, like, really tries to all in me there. Wow, this Void Grub spawning just completely gives away my spot. That's fine. I'll go sn uh, snag a cleaver. I was going to say I'll be ready for the TP, but I don't even think they need it. I guess we can TP just to threaten the end, though. When you get the Void Grub spawns, it's so much easier to end the game. Wow, they got slaughtered, dude. I ulted too slow. How crazy is that? Love to see an Alawi get bursted. Nice. GG. The tempo we had in that game was crazy. Early lane was a little bit tough, but that's how it always goes for Salawi. Early lane is never easy against that champ. I felt really good like mid and late game though. Jungler was super good too. Finally we get a jungle that plays for Void Grubs. I feel like a lot of my recent junglers have just not played for Grubs. Yeah, that was some good stuff. Okay, this guy's gonna go for the hard push. I'll try to fight back on the wave a little bit then. That's a cool looking Volley Bear skin. I've never seen that. Get some Uter vibes. He's gonna go for a little trade here. Don't want to overcommit into his passive. 
If Voli wants to push, he can he can do that. I can't really stop it with his passive. Oh wow, he barely tagged me with that. Not too bad, we both only missed one. Mordekaiser jungle, they have a... They have a really hard team to build against. Probably just like hole into Cleaver Sterax, pretty solid build. Just the usual. Oh no, am I dead? That was a really bad E by me. Whoops. Got his Ignite at least, but he still has Flash. Mm, careful, dude. I can't really go in here. Bully's really hard early game. And Mordekaiser's here. I really want to back for Cole here. Hoping this guy might be a little bit more important, though. That was Mord level 4 already. Definitely got to try to run. Oh, no. Nah. Okay, well, at least I have teleport. And my buy's pretty good. But early game, I think early game will just be tough for us. We have Urgot Cass. They got stronger lens. But hopefully, if we get through the early game, it'll pay off like mid and late game, hopefully. Hey, welcome in, Jekyu. The games are good so far, man. I think this one will be... Okay, yeah, this one will be really tough. Hopefully bot lane does good. Pretty sure Varus... Zerath is like a pretty hard winning bot lane. Just poke people down. I'll go Ward Grubs. I can't really poke a volley too much. Does he really kill me? Okay, good. Gosh, this matchup is so punishing, man. Falling's getting some kills, though. I think that's good. Even though we lose Drake, I think that'll be good. I think bot lane is our win con. I'll just try to front line for them. Two plates. It's going to be such a hard game to get grubs into, man. If you have losing lanes top and mid, you're kind of screwed. And losing jungle matchup. Would be nice if we could like steal one away, but I don't think we can. I'm so scared to go for it. Bully's like hiding on the edge right there to ulti over, maybe. But 
Does Volley always go AP? Uh, they either go AP or tank usually. Sometimes they'll do a mix of like AP tank. I do feel like I see AP more nowadays though. I've only played against like one tank volley this season. Probably like three APs. Volley's a good champion, like, especially in lane, but he falls off so hard. He's honestly kind of like Uter, but, like, he falls off even more. An ally has been slain. I, I kind of think Uter's a better Volley right now in top lane. I would say Volley has more kill pressure early on, though, than Uter. I'm always more scared to lane against this guy. That's a cannon wave. I don't know if I can push this quick enough. I'll try it though. Oh wait, he didn't back. Can he really fight in the wave like this? Wow, no ulti fights in the wave. He can really do that? I'll get some movement speed here so I can try to live. Hey, I'm doing good, Kate. How are you, man? Did you end up getting masters yet? How much attack speed does he get, man? That's crazy. Probably like 40%. Doesn't even have lethal tempo either. It's all good. We just got to play for first item. I thought he backed there, but he keeps like roaming instead of backing. As long as I don't die again, we should be good. If I die one more time, then it's going to be tough, I think. This guy zones me on the cannon every time, man. The struggle is real. Such a lane bully, this champion. Why does he back off there? This guy's really interesting. Like seriously, this guy plays really interesting. I don't know. I can't explain it. He's like not, he's, not, he's playing a one dimensional champion, but he doesn't play one dimensional. Is like the best way I can say. He's very unpredictable. We can maybe fight Grubs. They could be on it right now. But if they're not, we could fight them maybe. If our Graves pass up here. Because Volley's pretty chunked and I get 9, so I'm, I'm actually going to be pretty strong now. Nice, I got the cancel, just barely. An ally has been slain. 
Support and jungler up here, though. Do I just fight him at Grubs? I don't know if I can take Mordekaiser, dude. Well, I guess I can. It's, it's nice when he's in jungle because I have a bit of a level lead. Alright, this is our chance. This is our only chance to get Grubs, guys. Please rotate. Oh no, Graves is going bot. Bully's gonna come kill me, man. Urgot's not great at soloing these. Even if I get one, it's good, but yeah, my team just does not care. They just don't care at all, man. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I get the kill in their jungle and we just don't care. I knew that was going to happen, but I was thinking it's worth it if I get one grub, which I think it is. Just so they don't get like the double spawn. He only took one. He didn't get for the last one. Oh, Mordekaiser's there. That's why. That means he's going to get the plate before it drops. If Bully rotates, rotates on me, I kind of just die here. Is this worth rotating on? Probably not. Man, I hope we start scaling soon. You recognize that Mord played versus him a few times now? Was he good in your games? Seems like he's doing pretty good for like early game Mord jungle. Wow, Mordekaiser's here too. Oh, that was awesome. Right in the death realm. Nice. Good teleport, dude. Oh my god, I was going to eat in the bush. Okay, that works. I'll take it. Whoa, careful, tower. Do they have any global ultis? I don't think so. No, they don't. They got people rotating, though. Alright, Cleaver, and then... What boots are we going this game? I haven't thought about it. I think I'll finish Cleaver first, though, anyway. I think it's a Merc Trade game. I don't know. Maybe just Tabby Sterak, though. Maybe Sterak will be enough to nasty. Mm, actually, yeah. Mercs are pretty good. Honestly, MR is not even that bad either. It's kind of hard to decide. I think Merc Treads, though. Wow, did he flash? Oh, now he did. Wow, dang. Syndra's support. Still one-shots him. I'm guessing they're on Shelly right now.
It's so good if we get tower. Tower plus call cash in maybe. Okay, I almost took the cannon for my call. Dang man, I'm trying to get it, but I don't think I can. Whatever, I got enough for cleaver. Bit of a greedy recall by me, but should be okay. My team didn't protect the top tower. I thought they could have. I guess five void grubs, though. And he's running demolish. I wonder if I beat Voli 1v1 now with him having ignite. I feel like I probably do. Hullbreaker Cleaver. I feel like at 13, I definitely do. I think right now it could be kind of close. Dude, he plays around my East so good. Okay, yeah, that's really close. I maybe lose if I don't flash. You know what? It actually might be good to push here. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing three people on the map. And red buff is going to heal me plus fleet. Let's try to get the tier two. That's good to know I beat Volley. Oh my god, last W tick got her. I should be okay with fleet proc. If I stole for grinder, I actually think I could win against this guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I win this. Oh yeah. Dude, this guy's completely outscaled now. In this matchup, just use your E buffer to buffer his Q. Like when he stuns you, you can just buffer through it. Sterex is going to be so good, dude. I, I don't even have my boots upgraded because I always have enough for my item. So good. Hey, thanks for the $5 tip, by the way, Refract. Appreciate it, man. And thanks for the message, dude. I appreciate that. I think he lives in the death realm for sure. Wow, he wins in the death realm. Okay. Very nice. I mean, we... Could maybe play for Baron. It's a little bit risky, though. Eh, it's pretty risky. Could try to, like, bait a fight, maybe. It'd be really good to fight right now when I'm on three item spike. Oh, so close. That's a kill if he lands that. Wow, that save. We'll just go on the bear. I was going to nuke that Jin, dude. His support just saved him so hard. Dragon's probably a good call here. Oh, that tower is so low. 
dude. I wish I had my grinder. Make sure we're taking away their camps. Can I kill this guy? He sees my buffed up cannon. I wonder if he realized that though. He has to port back. I can just wait. Jeez, dude, my damage is crazy. That's a wrap, dude. This is actually Baron if I TP. I, I think they're, yeah, they're rotating for me. I knew it. Dude, if I had flash, I could kill that guy. 10 seconds away. We'll do Randuins for next item, by the way, because they have two crits. Also, I need some armor. This will be really good. I'm also going to go Elixir just to, like, get a crazy power spike here. I was thinking about E flashing, but he's gonna port back. So many traps. The Volley Bear is just going full split now. That's what he should do, to be fair, though. He can't really team fight at this point. I'm just going to nuke that guy. Any kill is so valuable. Just allows us to get more Baron value. Honestly, we can threaten for the end. That Varus Q damage. Yeah, that's definitely lethality. Nice. Well played, dude. 6.2k structure damage on Holebreaker. That's more than I usually have. I usually have like 4k. Yeah, Voli started falling off. He did give me a run for my money in lane, though, man. That lane was very challenging. He played around my Eve really good. We had 25k damage. Our Graves only had 6.5k. How did he have such little damage? I guess just not fighting. At least his CS was pretty good. Almost 5k fleet heals in a 25 minute game. Goliath online. Almost, four, almost 15k tower damage. I'm getting like 10 to 15k every game on tower damage. Dorn shield jacks, all right. This guy's spacing is already pretty good.
Just going to try to go for short trades. Play around the counter strike. His counter strike is two seconds less than your e cooldown. So it's kind of easy to gauge in this matchup. This matchup's going to get a little bit easier, by the way. Once they go through with those uh, lethal tempo nerfs. Dang, I barely missed that cannon, dude. I don't know about this. Thank goodness he has the bushes. I don't know if we can do this, man. This is sketchy. It's going to get back to my land. Well, it's really good for Rengar. Hopefully, Rengar pops off. It's a little bit bad for my lane since Jax got a kill. But nothing I can't recover from. Hopefully, Rengar will give us some help pretty soon. Mm, I don't know, man. Jax is so good against both of our champs. Why would we not just nuke him there? Got a ward down. Okay, that's fine. Dude, if we nuke him right away, though, I could probably run away there. Um, You know what? We're going to go Cleaver Rush in this matchup. I'm going to do Cleaver into Hullbreaker. I think Cleaver is super good against Jax because he gets so much armor from his ulti. And the gold works out pretty nice. Nice. Little trades like that is what I want to be doing. This guy has no sustain besides D shield. Didn't even buy refillable. All right, have a good one, crab man. Take care, dude. I wonder if Vibe's up here with the Grub spawn in. I might go get a ward on him here pretty soon. I wish Rengar was up here. This would be such a good time to do Grubs. Like, there's no way this guy could help. Let's see if I can get a Grinder here. Kind of hard to roam on a Karma, though. If he just gives me a root, I think we kill. I think we kill. Cameron's playing it pretty safe, though. It's all good. I don't lose too much here. Yeah, it would have been really good to do grubs, though, if uh, Rengar was nearby. That would have been, like, the perfect timing. But at least Vi's not taking them. Maybe we'll still get them. Ooh, no dragon steel, sadly. 
Hopefully the fight goes well at least. You don't know what Jax builds? Uh, usually, I think this guy's gonna go Bork. Oh, he went Tabby's on this back. They usually go like Sundered Sky or Bork. Dude, if that E went off, he's dead. My E was on cooldown for like less than a second. Alright, let's start pushing because Rengar's top lane now, or top side. So I can start playing for grubs. Nice, and mid is dead. This is this should be good. Should be free grubs. Shack goes Roman though, could turn into a fight. I love how you get overgrow stacks off those baby grubs. I mean, just kill the grub, guys. I don't know why Rengar jumped out and then he's like blaming us. Very strange. Mm, okay. Could have been better, but it's not too bad. That was played like so weirdly. Do I sell D Blade? I mean, I guess I just get boots. Okay, Smolder's going mid. I guess I'll just go back top then. Yeah, it was a weird play by Rengar. I don't know what he was thinking, but it kind of worked out. We got two grubs. Just want to go for the short trades. One more level in this matchup gets way easier for me. He's got full passive stacks. He's going to try to force. Dang, he actually gets the jump there. Okay. I mean, I used all I got. Wow, mid-air. The mid-air fling, dude. Or the KO, too. Alright, sweet. I think he has teleport. Pretty sure. Just gonna scare him off. I'm gonna TP back as well. Crazy for going back in. Well, his E was down, so I had a feeling I'd be good. Is she actually gonna go for this? Wow, super greedy. I can't TP back now, though. I need this wave. Maybe I can snipe him with Grinder. I need mana, though. I need 50 mana. Gosh, that's so tempting, man. 
It's got the scopes on him. He's gonna counter strike though. Careful, dude. I have literally nothing, man. Dang, really? Got the hairs on his back, man. I even went in the bush to like conceal it a little bit. Should play for grubs here. I'm gonna TP just for tempo right now. If this guy backed, we can also get a plate. Gosh, I'm barely missing these cannons, dude. We have a good CS lead though. 89 to 67. I have more plates too. Oh my god, dude, that was clean. Perfect, perfect E timing right there. Tower was beating me up. Wait, how does she have vision to smite there? Okay, we're on a really good pace, dude. I mean, I might need to try out some more games this season, skipping out on call. I actually do feel like I'm having better games when I skip out on call. But I, it does really depend on the matchup, too, and like when you get your first back. Like, there are some other factors. to consider with that. How nice of them. They leash Shelly for us. Honey fruit in the bay, so yeah. That, that happens on the uh, Chemtech map. I think this is my favorite map to play with Urgot. It's so fun when you get like a crazy blast gun play. Okay, I'm making sure I get this one. Oh my god, look at that combo, guys. Damage is crazy, man. I can just go this way. I can always use a Shelly to, like, right away if I need to as well. Oh my gosh, GG. Was that game even... Was that game even over? I wasn't even looking at the score, dude. I was so focused on my land. Nice, that's how I want to be playing though. I want to be just like focused in the zone like that. I mean, I guess our scaling was really good. Yeah, actually, we have a way better team comp, but I don't that game doesn't feel over yet. I'll take it though. How's Yurk on this patch? Uh, I think he's going to be really good. I haven't seen him yet. But I saw his win rate already shot up like 2%. I might end up playing some Yurk once people kind of like find out the meta build on him. Alright, we're going we're gonna to give another shot to the uh, Holebreaker build this game. 
I think Holbreaker into Cleaver, though. Actually, Holbreaker into Profane looks kind of good here, too. We'll see how the lane goes, I guess. I think both could be good. Holbreaker into Profane sounds nasty against Camille. I feel like you'd definitely win the side lane with that build. Is Twitch mid already roaming top lane? Oh, there he is. Definitely gonna have to be careful about that. I think this guy roams a lot on Twitch. Solo kill mid already, nice. Alright, nice. Let's grab a call here. Diana's topside anyway, so I kind of want to get out of this lane. She was looking like she wanted to, like, W cancel me. Yeah. It's a little too late, thankfully. So we'll do Cole into Hullbreaker. That sounds good. But Janna got a kill too, nice. Winning mid and bot so far. My teams have been my past few teams have been kinda rocky, so I feel like we're due for a decent one. Not that it really works like that, but I'm just saying I feel kinda due for a decent team. Oh man, am I gonna have to give up my wave here? Kind of worried Camille's Roman. Maybe she just went for the back, though. Yeah, it looks like she just backed. I thought she was going to rotate on that. Definitely feels like a game where we should try to rush the uh, Void Grubs. Because Brand is super good at taking them. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to try to get them both with my shotgun. Missed them both. Does she miss cannon? I was trying to not last hit that mage so it would kill the cannon. There we go. Really nice to make her lose XP on that. So far, so good. Got her bone plating there. I'm trying to stand really close to the wall so she ease. Oh my god, I did not mean to press that. I'm surprised she's not eating me there. Scared for Lowie this patch? Dude, I am too. If it becomes like really meta, I'm gonna start banning her. She's already at like a 55-56% win rate. Even last patch, she was at like 50... She was like 54 or 55. Um, for this patch, for this patch with a Lowy, they, they did a change. They nerfed her damage on tentacles, but they buffed the, they buffed the range. Which I think overall is a buff. Ooh, good hold on the E there. Diana's here. I should be fine. Got a nice ward down. Nice, dude. We get all the grubs and the dragon. Diana's getting out jungled hard right now.
Wow, so Brashu doesn't ult me there. This is really good. I can just TP back now. Mm, I want to wait for a Tunneler. I guess I will. It's not really that much of a wait anyway. Wow, the wave actually freezes too. Beautiful kill, dude. That's so good. I think, honestly, she still has port, right? So I think I can just freeze. Oh, maybe she used it. I guess she did. Because I feel like she would definitely port back here. I can't really get that much of a freeze. Yeah, I can't really get that much of a freeze. I can just slow push, though. It's good to slow push and have a bit of a minion wave. Because she has ulti and flash now. So she's going to want to try to fight. Why rush that component first? I think Tunneler is just really nice if you have the gold. The stats are just solid. Like 15 AD, 250 HP. Just keeps you really safe. I mean, Rectrix is good, but if you have the gold, I think Tunneler's better. Having 250 HP is really nice on Urgot. Rectrix is better if you're versus, like, a range champ or, like, you think you can snowball. Uh, that's how I feel on paper. I haven't really done a ton of testing with it. Ah. Wow, Diana too. Well, dang, the Yasio did ping that, but I thought I was playing, like, relatively safe. It's not too big of a deal. We get the room on bot land. I'll just miss a bit of a wave here. Brand getting invaded kind of sucks. Looks like she took away the blue buff too. Or I guess just killed him for the blue. Yeah, I'm trying out Holebreaker Rush right now, Mojo. Only my third game on the patch, and the first two games were kind of bad quality, so I couldn't really test it too much. An ally has been slain. But so far, the build path feels really nice, and the tower damage feels amazing. The damage on champs feels pretty good, too, honestly. Like, even though my games were kind of bad, it, like, the first game, it still felt really good. thing is with Urgot, you still have to kind of, you still have to kind of scale up and like get to that item, you know? So the lanes are still kind of similar. Or the matchups, rather. I want to push right now so we can go for Void Grub pressure. That was such a clean kill, dude. Holy moly. That felt so nice. Yeah, number one tip I can give you guys versus Camille. If she ever E's at you, use your E like right as she lands on you. Or like right before. You don't want to E when she's in air because her E has priority over your E. I should get this play here. Nice. All right, cool. We get Holebreaker and Boots. I'm going to back up a little bit because she does have ulti, I think. Kind of afraid of getting trapped here. Cool. 
Man, she's gonna get a lot of fight back. Maybe I'll wait until my TP's up. Wow, nice. They're like diving my bot lane? Why are they diving such a fed gin already? Weird part is, he's not even worth that much of a bounty. I guess he got shut down. Let's go do Grump in the meantime, I guess. I really just have to wait for my TP right now. Hey, good to see you, crap man. Doing pretty good. Our past two games have been kind of rough, but this one's going pretty good. This one's going really good. I think we playing for Void Grubs is so nice. We got all six of them now. Dude, six Void Grubs with a Hole Breaker is going to be insane. I can't wait to shred towers. It's actually going to be insane. I think I'll just go Hole Breaker Swifties here. Just have a ton of movement speed for the matchup. Twitch is mid. I was going to see if she maybe flashes that. If she thinks I'm going to E-flash. Kind of debating whether to go for the E-flash there as well. Maybe could have been a kill. All right, let's put this to the test. With the Void Grubs too, man. I feel like I trundled this game. I think somebody's roaming on me. Maybe they're roaming bot lane though. The thing about these Grubs is like, sometimes they spawn really late and they give away your position in the bush. I'm pretty sure Twitch is up here, but I think maybe I can kill him. Dude, look at that damage. That's nasty. He's actually not here. Oh, she can build up her Q2 on the grubs. Holy moly, dude. Look at that damage. 327 in one little fight. That's nice how those grubs were tanking for me for a little bit. Wow, GG. I'm going to not show for a little bit since we're swapping. Belveth is way easier to play versus than uh, Azir. It's weird how they have Belveth mid this game, though. Also, why is she using her keys like that? That was really weird. This guy does not feel like a diamond player. Probably wasn't expecting to be versus the Urgot. I do think that Lane Belveth is actually kind of like a slept on pick though. I think it's better than people think. Oh my goodness, Ivy101, thank you for the 10 gifted. Holy moly, dude. I appreciate that. Seriously, thank you so much, man. I'm 
I'm afraid to go for an E because the tower is like so close. It's so much different in mid lane. You got to be like so much more careful. This lane is so much shorter. It's kind of nice though because it's easier to like live versus jungle ganks. If I play like right around here, there's like no way I can die. Ooh, good reaction by him. So happy I landed that Q, man. Save me, Shaku. I can't do anything now. Well, good thing I'm running TP. Friggin Leona's up here. What the heck? She might try to gank me then. Wonder if we can do something here. She's gonna be so tanky though. gonna get out before she ease. If I don't have, if I don't have my E, it's kind of sketchy. Ideally, I feel like you want to try to E when she ease. I mean, you either want to E or E or you want to E or W knock up. That's how I feel in this matchup. I haven't really played this match like a ton of times though. That should be a free kill. Or a flash, I'll take it. Goodness, dude, my W missed two of those. All right, whatever. At least it's only mage minions. I got a 10 CS lead anyway. This lane's going really good so far. Just happy I don't have to lane versus Azer, man. Honestly, Grubs for a Chemtech Drag is definitely a better trade for us. Chemtech is pretty weak with their comp. Hey, good to see you, Python. Hello, Demon. I think Hecarim's nearby, or he's gonna go bot. You wanna be really careful against Belveth when she has her form. It's gonna drop out pretty soon though. 
Whenever she looks like a big manta ray, she just gets a bunch of free stats. Oh, he went for the top lane gank. Wow, that was four seconds? Dude, that flea just saved me so hard. And the triumph yield too. That's what I love about fleet, that movement speed just saves you so much early. I can't believe that was four seconds on my ulti though. That genuinely did not feel like four seconds at all. I guess I was doing pretty low damage. I couldn't get that shotgun proc that I was trying to get. It, it looked like I was lined up with it. Nice, that worked out really good though. Not too shabby. I'm already full mana back off the blue buff. I could actually stay until hull breaker. And then my TP will be up by then. I think that's the plan here. Just kind of weak right now because I'm on a lot of gold. That kind of baits are in now. Dang, that tower shot. Honestly, if I don't take that tower shot, I think we could maybe outplay this. But that's okay. At least I got enough for hole breaker. 10 minute hole breaker right on my level 9 spike is very nice. Hey, take care, Death Monkey. Yeah, we can fight these. I'm going to push the wave real quick, though, actually. So we have some more prio. Or we should get here first. Wow, that was sick. Beautiful shot. That looks so cool as he's like ulting away. Could be like a cinematic play. I think with Holebreaker plus Red Buff, I can just straight up fight her. You feel like Yumi's so much useless compared to other seasons. She's been nerfed a lot. I actually heard that Yumi might be the first champion that Riot deletes. But I don't know if that was like a clickbait thing. I definitely heard that. Wow, the E didn't go off. I guess it's kind of good though. She was gonna... She was gonna dash there anyway. I think her little thingies give me overgrowth stacks. Yeah, they do. Wow. I just went from 132 to 135. That's OP, man. No, they've never deleted a champ before. 
But yeah, there was some article that I saw that said they might delete Yumi. Oh, you're dead, buddy. Into the grinder. Yeah, this matchup is really good for Urgot. You just have such a good chance to land E. Yeah, that's true. Usually they just like rework champs. That's kind of how they like technically delete champions if they think it's unhealthy. Should probably just back here, dude. I got so much gold. This whole first item good? It's very good, man. Very, very good right now. You can still do Cleaver first against tanks, but I would go Hull versus any non-tank. 100% of the time right now. I'm so happy we went for a lane swap this game, man. Like, Azer, Azer is one of the most... I think it might be... Well, it's hard to say. I think it's one of the worst mages to play versus for sure. I mean, all the mages are so hard for Urgot, so it's kind of hard to, like, pick one. But Azer and Anivia are definitely my least favorites. Wait, why is she dashing in? What? Gosh, that CC. Did she flash my ulti or or what was that? Something like knocked her aside. She might have just flashed. Our clown didn't have his item. I can match this. Should be good. Oh my god, my red buff kills. That's so good. Wow, it's been a while since I had a Yumi, man. This feels really nice. I haven't seen Yumi in so long. Honestly, I'll just take Tower, dude. I got Hole Breaker. Plus Void Grubs. We got five Grubs. Towers are Paper. Guys, I have 4.5k gold in my pocket. Ah, uh, I think I'm dead now too. Why are they 5 man? Wait, why are they 5 man there? Holy moly, okay. I guess I shouldn't have went for the save. I was trying to ping here so she could like jump over this way. I think that would have been safer for me. But who knows, I maybe still would have been dead. Okay, I could go Cleaver and Profane right now. That sounds kind of nice. The fact I can just buy both of these items sounds kind of crazy. And then after this, we can just tank up. Everything else is going to be tanky. Probably like Sterak Jack Show. This feels weird having three items and having tier one boots. I haven't heard anything about a Ziggs rework. Are they reworking him? 
I heard they're finally going to do that Skarner rework sometime this year. I think Skarner's like the least played champ in the game right now. I mean, honestly, dude, ah, they're going to go Drake here, actually. We should fight it, though. But Shaq is dead. I don't know if we can. They're going to take this blue if I don't. I'm just gonna upgrade my boots real quick. Not enough going on on the map right now. Killing ball will be good here since I have TP soon. We need that Baron to be on the map because I can pressure bot so hard, but I, I'm gonna like push up all the way to inhib. So I really need Baron to be on the map. Because if I get like three manned here, it's a free Baron for us. I can definitely 1v2. Yeah, look, these guys are so scared right now. I'm level 14. This is raid boss mid. Look at that damage, man. That is unreal. Couldn't get my E off. If I get my E off, I think I win that, to be honest. Could be a little too late for Baron. That's what I want them to play for, like, right away. Ooh, Ori doesn't have ulti. Alright, I'm going to have to probably TP. Actually, I don't know. Can I? I don't know if I can stop this. Maybe if I buy Elixir. Let's see how this goes. Stopped it, dude. That fight was way too intense, dude. Holy moly. Should sell Hullbreaker? They changed Hullbreaker, dude. It doesn't work how she's thinking it does. I gotta be careful. I'm still really low HP. Oh, 
so close, dude. I even got the fleet procty on the red buff. I thought that'd be enough. I was too low to begin with in this fight. We played that kind of well, but I was just way too low. Azer's doing a lot. Let's get MR first in that case. I actually have a decent check of armor with Tabby's. Plus conditioning. You know, I'm trying to think. Maybe Force of Nature's better than Jack Show here. They do have a lot of AD too, though. I think Jack Show's really good. You play with Fleet, not PTA. Yeah, I go Fleet in most games. I go PTA in some matchups. But dude, look at the healing, man. 4.2k on fleet, and it gives you movement speed. I think this rune is insane for Urgot. There's kind of no other way to get healing on Urgot this season. Completely just popping these guys, man. This is so fun with Profan. What is this? Double inhib, maybe? Their timers are tiny, man. Shaco's ditching. I don't know if we can do this, man. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. I don't think Shaco should have ditched. Should go Visage with Yumi? Dude, that's actually kind of a good idea. Yeah, actually, I like that call. I might do that. Dang, this doesn't build into Visage, though. That's kind of annoying. Sells for 630. That's actually really smart, too. Yeah, because I have fleet. He's going to see the Holebreaker cannon. That's fine, though. I just want the wave. Oh, no. That's such a bad time to get picked, dude. I guess Baron's not up, though, at least. Alright, let's do this. We got the raid boss build. Yeah, Spirit's actually such a good call. I like that. I don't want to go bot lane, but I don't know. We need Shaka to be up. I also don't really want to take waves because I'm full build. Dang, I was just going to type to you, man. She gets picked. All right, we got to go full full push here. Actually, I think it's better to recall. They could definitely end the game. Red Pot's really good if I'm going Visage. Ezreal gets chunked. And this Azer turret's actually really good.
It's really good if we can try to team fight here. We just need a good angle. Can it pop the smolder? Are we just outscaled? I feel like I'm I could do so much, but I guess I'm the only person that's fed. Yeah, nobody else is really doing that good. Man, such a good game too. I think split pushing would have been good this game, but it was so difficult because everybody kept getting picked right when I would like right when I set up my split push. But yeah, good game still. At least it was a good game for me. The mid game was really fun when I just like spiked so early on three items. Just popping them so fast, dude. They're almost 37k damage. I think going for the smolder is definitely the play there in that last fight, but I think he just flashed and then I had like no follow up too. 